Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Nice to have you here. Thank you so much for being so lovely and just, you know, going with the flow, just like I've been going with the flow. Um, this is your June reading, 1st of June till the 15th, even though they're a little bit late. Um, I did explain that in my previous videos. Um, there's a reason behind everything that happens, so I believe that we need to go with the flow, and that's what I'm doing. Now, I've got something to announce today that I'm starting my Vimeo videos. So, I'm going to be doing very quick readings for YouTube. A lot of people do like the quick readings. Uh, they don't want to be on, you know, each video for half an hour. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a brief overview of what your reading is about for those of you that are interested in seeing the rest of the video where I pull more cards I'll be using this velas as well right in the Vimeo readings they will not be expensive the videos they will be quite cheap in comparison to other people and what they charge I will have a different price for each video on its own and a price for all the 12 zodiac signs because many of you may want to watch your sun moon and rising and you want to see the outcome of the reading i also will be pulling a romance angel okay for love and i will be also taking three lenormand cards right so i am using the rider weight the alba I should say the Albano, <laughs> the Albano weight, sorry, the Albano weight tarot, which is one of my favorite decks. It's so easy to use. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I'm also using the La Vera Sibila, which I usually use. All right? Let's see, where's that packet? There it is. Okay, the La Vera Sibilas. That I use every single month and also I will be using as I said Doreen Virtues Romance Angels right here it is Romance Angels there we are and also the Gilded Reverie Lenormand the expanded edition which I absolutely adore so they're going to be up on Vimeo as I said, the rest of the reading is going to be up on Vimeo for those of you that want extended readings. So I'm looking forward to working with you um, and, you know, help. this is really helping me because I'm getting the readings up sooner and I'm actually thinking of starting to do weeklies. So let's see how we go. Um, I think that's all. I'd like to go into the astrology side now, so for those of you that want only tarot, I will put the link in the description box below where the tarot starts, okay? Just quickly in the astrology, right, for the month of June, we've got a new moon in the sign of Gemini on the 13th of the month, so this brings a fresh start uh, in our lives, you know, chatterboxy Geminis, all about information, they're ruled by um, Mercury. So it's very positive energy and we, through curiosity, we learn through others, right, by asking questions. So we, we're going to improve our social and communication um, sectors in anything to do with, you know, what's Gemini, it's the third house, uh, siblings, neighbours, and um, it's all about communication, it's all about, of course, um, Gemini is also about learning, anything to do with study. Okay, so we're going to be opening up our minds for more information. Now, we've also got Neptune beginning its retrograde on the 18th. Oh my God, so there's like a veil, rose-colored glasses being put on us, okay, and anything to do with our practical affairs. Um, there's a sort of... Um, we're, we're trying to realign with anything to do with our wishes, okay, and what's inside of us. Any planet that goes retrograde, it, we're supposed to turn inwards, 
okay and it's it's going to last until the 24th of November so it's a period of you know being in t turning inwards being recep receptive that's what happens when the planets are retrograde so receptiveness and again as I said wearing rose-colored glasses so <laughs> murky murky energy so we've we might feel like we're stagnant that's what happens with retrograde planets we're gonna have to be patient um, but it's also it's got a lot to do with discovering what's on the inside of us right now Mars turns retrograde on the 26th and it's gonna be retro until August 27 okay now again another retrograde planet so reassessing redoing projects um, trying to do anything that we can so we can get what we want what is Mars it's our passion it's our drive forward right so there's strong energy with Mars but do know that with the retrograde motion we can get a bit passive aggressive right um, mm. so and we could also be beginning problems instead of looking at the problems at hand okay so um, it's a good time to learn retrogrades are always time of taking time out and looking within ourselves with anything to do with what the planet is about okay and it's also the good thing about it is that we can do go over things and redo things things that need fixing anything that needs fixing anything that is old we can look at it again okay now the full moon is going to be in the sign of Capricorn on the 28th okay so what is Capricorn Capricorn is our um, tenth house it's all about career it's all about work it's all about um, putting in the hard work Saturn is there right don't forget that Saturn says that you've got to stand in your integrity put in the hard yakka and then you can reap the rewards so now um, Capricorn is also deals with lots of commitments what we've what what we're committed to doing right we've got Capricorn on one side of the horoscope and then cancers on the opposite sign cancer is the the house of home family okay so we're trying to find a balance but with full moons we know that there's a culmination so what is telling us that we can't ignore what commitments we are we have to home and not and just concentrate on work right so we have to find the fine balance of that um, those two houses let's say the tenth house and the fourth house of home and family okay so we're going to have to be mature we're going to have to act like Saturn like be the authority figure and things will come to light okay that's what happens with full moons whatever we started six months ago is going to be culminating on the 28th of the month okay so that would have been yeah exactly six months ago when the when the new moon would have taken place in in um, in Capricorn right okay so we always know just for those of you that are more into astrology um, that when there is a new moon in a certain sign six months later we're going to have the full moon of what begun in that new moon in the same sign <laughs> I hope you get what I mean okay all right people I'm going to start with your readings now as I said thank you so much for taking the time out to listen to this introduction and I will be um, giving more than less in the future so thank you so much and I will be back mid-month for the rest of your reading for June right for the second part of June 15th till the 30th of June okay hello Capricorn how are you thank you for being here this is uh, Divine Dabu Kathy speaking Sagittarian card you've got the the divine is with you as we shuffle dear Capricorn this is going to be a quick reading the first part you will have on YouTube the second part 
will be up in video for those of you that like long readings, right? Uh, I will put the, um, the link in the description box below for each video. Let's see what's happening in the first part of June for you, June. From the beginning till, till mid-June 2018, love in general for Capricorn. Okay. Okay, we have the sun, which is the energy of Leo. We love the sun, don't we? The Ace of Wands is the challenge. Now, from what I see, you guys have been put through the ringer. You've been put through a hard, hard time. Let's hope that this reading is better. Wheel of Fortune is in the distant past. In the recent past, the Five of Wands. Crowning your reading is the Four of Cups. In the near future, we've got the Seven of Pentacles. That is not too bad at all. In the position of you is the Three of Wands. Beautiful. In the external to you is the Page of Pentacles. Lovely. In your hopes and fears is the Four of Pentacles. And the outcome card is the Knight of Swords. <laughs> Let's see what is, oh, there's your energy, Queen of Pentacles, absolutely beautiful. Financial stability and prosperity at this point in time. You are a very loving and nurturing energy, dear Capricorn. Beautiful. She is the mother of earth, okay? She is very, she's the business owner, she's everything. She can keep a household, she can bring the money in, she can love and nurture, she can have children. She's the mother of all, right? Now, beneath that is the magician, which says that you've got all the tools that you can make magic and go for it, Capricorn. Go for it. Let's see what is beneath that. Wow. So this is energy from before. Like you're coming out of heartache and heartbreak. So you may have been dealing with a trickster, may have. I'm not reading reversals. So this is your energy, though. Okay, this is your energy. And because we've got swords here, I can see your air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, which may be their sun uh, rising or moon sign. It looks as though they're moving away. This difficult energy is finally moving away. And we also have the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups is someone who is quite quite happy in what they've accomplished they feel as though they they have um how can i say it it's as though you know it's the uh, cat that ate the mouse they feel as though they got away with something they feel as though their wish came true but then something came in the knowledge came in which brings us to a card of perception that you know my heart or your heart your partner's heart has been broken right now the nine of cups can be overindulging drinking too much alcoholism overindulging with food any substances at all going overboard trying to drown your sorrows right but I do not feel as though your your reading is quite good I feel as though that is residual energy right now in the position of now is the sun. So this is Leo. We've got a few wands here. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo, right? Now, the eclipses are in air and fire, Leo and Aquarius, right? So the card of Leo, the sun, which is clarity, warmth, healing, whoever has if some of you have had surgery, then you're on the road to healing because the Three of Swords could be heart surgery, could be pain. Sorry about that noise. So, pain in your heart. Now, usually Leo is the card of... One moment, please. Okay, I was going to pause it, but anyway. Um, Leo is the heart chakra. It is what we love. This uh, Leo also rules 
it rules the fifth house, right? Which is all about children, creative projects. We've got a lot of wands. We could be talking about a project, a creative project which you want to show to the world because Leo is being up on stage. Leo is all about the ego, doing it all on your own, right? The challenge is the Ace of Wands to take up what inspires you, what you feel passionate about, to have a new beginning, to start again, okay? So to be more passionate, come out of the healing process that you're going through and begin again, okay? Now Leo may be your support system. You may have a brother or a sister or a family member that is there for you. Now in the distant past, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. Now the Wheel of Fortune is the card of Jupiter. It is the will. It is a completion. It breaks down to a one. Ten is a number of completion which breaks down to a one. So there's, a, there's been a new beginning where you're trying to build on something, right? Now, some of you may be dealing with Sagittarian energy and I'm saying that because this is Jupiter. Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius and the card of temperance opened up as I was shuffling, right? So trying to build on something, maybe not being on the same page, but this is energy that is coming in to bring in change. Now, the color of orange is like a passionate color, right? It's something that you feel strong about, but there's what is in red. To make orange, we have um, yellow in red, right? Yellow and red make orange. So what is yellow? Yellow is the color of um, hatred. It's the color of the enemy. So there may be a little bit of animosity here, a bit of competition. Sometimes healthy competition is not bad. Now yellow is the number, the color of Leo, the sun. Leo is a fire sign, yeah? So there may be competitive energy with a Leo or a Sagittarian. Now crowning your reading, we've got a, an offer that is coming in, an emotional offer, and this may be not the right offer or not the right time. So I don't know why this offer is not accepted. It is not, it is not an offer that this person has been waiting for. But it is, it's the Ace of Cups and it's coming in from the Divine. So you need to look at this again. Go over it. There are so many retrograde planets. Mars is actually going retrograde on the 26th of this month. So it's in shadow already. So uh, Mars just came out of Capricorn. It's gone into Aquarius, right? So having Mars in your sign, right? is passive aggressive energy so do take care with uh, being a little bit you know trying to push forward and not being able to do that just go with the flow dear Capricorn go with the flow so having the challenge of the ace of wands says try not to be too over passionate wait go move into the energy ground yourself just like the Queen of Pentacles. Ground yourself, dear Capricorn. It is difficult times at the moment. Now in the near future, and this can be in July because it's the seventh card, seventh month, you are looking at a situation, you are wondering whether you should invest, whether you will have a return on what you have invested, right? But seven is a number of the divine, so you are not alone. Always remember that. So this is a period of stopping and looking turning inwards. That's what retrograde planets are all about. And it's a wonderful idea to do that. Now you've got Pluto retrograde in your sign. You've got Saturn retrograde in your sign. Okay. Wow. Jupiter is still retrograde. It's not going to go direct until the 10th of January, I believe. At the 10th of July, sorry. So take time. Do not rush. In the position of you is the Three of Wands. This is growth. This is manifestation in any creative projects, in anything that you feel passionate about. What you have invested, you are waiting on the return. It's coming. 
in the environment position, page of pentacles, a new beginning you are hoping to build on something that is going to ground you, something that is going to give you prosperity and growth. So this is a message that is coming in from the external, from your environment. This can be a youthful earth sign which is sending you a message which will help you move forward. And it can be a time of investment in your life. Investment is coming in very strongly and that could be, could be even in love and relationships. You are like um, investing at the moment, investing in your future and having Saturn there in your sign, it is the perfect time to invest because what work you are working through, plowing through will give you the return. Okay, once Saturn has moved through your sign. And let's not forget that in the near future, up to 2020, um, no, what am I saying? Um, in the next three years, roughly, we're going to have Jupiter in Capricorn as well. It's going to be major things happening for you, dear Capricorn. You are in for a makeover. You've been through such hard times, it is time for you to receive. Point blank. And in your hopes and fears, you're holding on to your pentacles, holding on to what you, what you value, holding on to what is priceless to you and in your heart and in your home, you're holding on tight, holding on for life, right? Capricorn. Now, you may be dealing with Capricorn, uh, what am I saying? With another earth sign, which can be Taurus because the four of pentacles is very Taurian. It may be their sun, moon, or rising. We've got pentacles, pentacles. We've got um, um, we've got another page of pentacles here. Another earth sign here. Earth sign qualities, and uh, the wheel of fortune is in Scorpio, the opposite sign to Taurus. Taurus is all about the comforts. They're very like all the earth signs are all about the comforts of course they work very hard but here and in the external i'm looking at someone who likes to build someone who likes to collect to to enjoy the fruits of their labor yes capricorn you are like that as well but i feel i don't know what why i feel it you will have to look at the extended version of this reading I did mention Taurus. Let's see. What, what is happening is Taurus is Uranus is moving into Taurus. It has moved there already. So what we value, we will keep in our lives. What we don't value, and that is in the second house of earned income and the five senses, what we don't value, Uranus is coming in to break down. So this is a sense of breaking down what is too brutal for you, what is not stable enough for you, dear Capricorn. This is very air, up in the air quality, right? And that is not your cup of tea. That is not to your liking. It is too brutal for you. So, and this could be the offer that is coming in from an air sign, and that's why it is not well received. It could be air and water, sun, moon, or rising, right? I do believe that what in what is external to you is something more stable and it is earth qualities and this could be in business in family in health in everything I'm going to take some more cards in the Vimeo readings I think I will leave your reading for YouTube at that thank you so much for being here thank you for um, your support and everything you do for my channel do keep well. I will be back for the 15th of the month for your readings. And another thing is that I will be doing readings for the second part of the year. So July to December. They will be done in the month of June. So do look out for those. Um, thank you so much, dear Capricorn. Do keep well. Thank goodness you had a pretty good reading. Finally. See you later. A final message, is, and that I forgot to mention in the first part of the video, is that I will be putting up readings for July to the end of the year. 
So the mid-year readings for 2018. For those of you that do not know, I do have a playlist which I will put the link in in the description box below so that you can view, so you can watch the um, first part of the six months uh, of 2018 general and love forecast. Okay, so for those of you that haven't seen it, haven't watched the videos, please go over there and watch them. If not, if you have already watched them and you've forgotten what's gone on, please go back and have a look and you'll be surprised at how the information shows up in the readings. It's just amazing. Okay, so I will be putting um, up more videos. These will be for July till the end of ye the year at some point in June. So do look out for those. Thank you so much again. See you all. Bye-bye.